it's us. <laughs> you ever respond to Playboys? Wow, this jacket make me look crazy. But you ever respond to Playboys? Welcome back to another video, man. We're heading over to Grumpy Ass Renardo. Um, he's gonna be coming with me to go look at a motor for Dusty. You know, it's a new year, so I'm trying to do a big, you feel me? Uh, I'm not gonna say what else I got planned for that motor, but just know it's gonna be built. Um, nothing serious though, just something fun for Dusty. But uh, yeah, it's a K24Z6. If you guys didn't know, you can run a Z6, which is our, uh, they're from the CRVs. It's just that they have lower compression, but when you're building it, that doesn't really matter. Um, from my knowledge, from what I heard and what I saw, all you need to do is swap over to an oil pan, and that's literally it. Everything else is functional. You know, if you want to swap over your oil pump, you can do that as well. But uh, yeah, that's really it. So we're almost there to Renardo. He's over here blowing me up. So talking about I'm late. I don't know what the hell this man talking about because I just told him I was on my way. But uh, yeah, so. We gonna, we gonna pick this camera up when we see this grumpy ass man. Let's go, whore, come on. No, I'm about to make you wait now. <laughs> Let's go. Wanna hear it sounds? Huh? Wanna hear it sounds? What does it sound like? Looks, looks nice and clean. Oh, that's just about to be so loud. Oh my lord. That shit's loud. What's wrong with it? Nothing anymore, I'm guessing. Oh no, two cylinders in fire. That was on two cylinders. So four piston didn't do a good job, I guess. That's not my problem. Okay, well, it's not my problem. I hope he got warranty. There's no coolant coming out of it. I mean, he's only had this block in the car for a year. That's what I'm saying. But it won't be blocked this year. Um, I don't know if I still have it. Well, he's seen the fucking clothes that one day. That yeah. Yeah, that one shit was touching the board swing, so that shit was... Damn. This shit looks beautiful though. Right. Now your finest moment? I think I think the integral is your finest moment. This is the uh, I guess nicest tape that I can Oh one my one. goodness. That shit is fucked. Yeah. That's all cool. So my theory is either the head gasket went or it torched the head because of this shit. Let's hope it's a head gasket. <laughs> Because if it towards the head, that'd be a piece of the box, man. Okay. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Wanna say what's up to the video? Don't fuck you in the video. <laughs> Three days later. Alright guys, so <clears throat> this is like day two or three, I guess you could say. I honestly forgot to even pull out my camera when I went to go look at the motor. But uh it's a solid motor, so today. We're gonna go pick it up. Um, hopefully, we can beat this rain before it happens because it is gonna storm. But uh, yeah, when I get to the house, I'm having my girlfriend record me checking out the motor again for you guys so y'all can see. But uh, yeah, it's it's a solid motor. Well, it's not bad. It's bad, but not bad. All right, guys. So we got the motor right here. Wow! Hey, man, you guys see it? K24 K24Z6. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this swaps right into your knife gen. Um, all you have to change is obviously the oil pan and the timing chain cover, and that's literally it. But this motor is going to be getting built. I'm going to be stripping it down, have everything removed, powder coated, stuff like that. It's going to be a very, very nice build. Very, very time consuming. So don't expect this to be like a two, two weeks, three weeks build. It's going to be like over the process of this, you know, 2024. I said to myself for 2024, I wanted to build a motor or have a motor built. And uh, this is this is it, man. So let's welcome in the 2024 Dusty, baby. Let's get it. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out.
Also, big shout out to my boy Ben for coming in clutch. Yes, sir. Ski. Came in super clutch with the Tacoma. You feel me? Yes, sir. Big body. <laughs> big body Tacoma. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading back to the house so we could uh, put this somewhere in the garage for now, and then uh, yeah, start the assembling process in a later video. Today is a nice day, and I just want to chill. But uh, we gonna continue the video. Let's get it. Going up there, going up like the airplane, the rockets. Alright guys, so motors inside, you feel me? Give you guys a little look at it. It is beat the hell up, but this is gonna look so beautiful at the end. Um obviously the manifold, the auto body, all this junk is gonna be replaced. Um injectors, stock injectors, don't have to use it. Valve cover, don't have to use it, but I'm gonna keep it obviously. Um Oil pan has to get swapped out. Time and chain cover has to be replaced with the K27. I said K27. K24 Z7 time and chain cover. So have to find one of those. Um, yeah, this is from an automatic CRV, obviously. I'm very happy. This is gonna be a very, very nice 2024. I'm going to be learning a lot of stuff when I try to disassemble this motor. Um, it's gonna be an experience, and I, I honestly can't wait for it. Um, hopefully, hopefully by the end of this year, this motor will be complete, and we'll be able to throw it in dusty and make a nice little six, you know, six thirty, six twenty. That's the go, bro. I can't wait. It's gonna be fun. Um, obviously, I'm doing all upgraded everything. Um, type S oil pump, manly rods, wide scope pistons, um, the K tune water neck to make it way easier to bleed um obviously i'm keeping ac power steering all that stuff so i was gonna say the k-tune like little adapter thing that you can like put right here for the uh for the pulley so it makes it easier easier for you to change that cover that vtc cover whatever that thing is and um yeah then for the turbo setup <clears throat> Keeping the same turbo, but I do want to get rid of the oil pan that I do have on Dusty. I have another K24Z7 oil pan, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to put my stock one back on this motor and buy that adapter. There's an adapter that this guy sells that uh, goes right into the back of where the I believe it goes right into the back of where the old oil pump goes because you need a type not an old, old oil pump the old uh oil filter location so yeah it's, it's hard to explain bro because I'm, I'm still trying to figure everything out as we go but like i was saying this is about to be freaking amazing um right now it's a new day we're gonna be heading over to my old job m tech performance they have a dyno day so we're gonna go look at some cool cars get some get some good views on some uh dyno pools it should be like a thousand plus horsepower cars on the dyno and uh, yeah, man, so let's get to it. Stupid clean, stupid clean.
So this is where I'm gonna end off the video, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Stay tuned for the big build on the motor. Um, should be a video coming out very shortly or very soon. Not very shortly because it's not dropping today, but very soon of me disassembling the Z6. And uh, yeah, it's yo, I got some things in store for that motor. It's gonna be a nice build. Um, also, if you guys didn't know, me and Corey storing the meat. Uh, February 17th at Holy Cow Ice Cream. So bring out everybody. You feel me? It's going to be a nice turnout. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, shout out to everybody who bought some merch. Really appreciate everybody who did. It's in the process right now of being made. So it's, yeah. Y'all, Whoever ordered and who's watching this video, your order is coming soon, man. Your order is coming soon. But yeah, your boy's out. Peace. Yeah. Trouble on my mind. Yes, I got trouble.